left. Who wants it? Maybe you should offer it to the pregnant lady. And that would be? <laughs> Me, Sheldon, I'm obviously pregnant. Well, you never said it to my face. And the last time I assumed a woman was pregnant, it did not go over well. Yeah, I'm still mad at you. <laughs> you were drinking water instead of wine. What was I supposed to think? Sheldon's right. I would never ask a woman if she was pregnant unless she tells me or I see a human being wiggling out of her. <laughs> Myself in headphones, is that really how I sound? <laughs> it is, it is. That is good to know. <laughs> I told him his voice was annoying. He didn't want to listen. Hey! Well, you're saying it's not? Just, hey. There's Leonard. I bet he's having a rough day. <laughs> Let's just try to be supportive. Supportive? He publicly maligned the love of my life, Lady Physics. You might not want to mention that to Lady Fiance. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> what? You got something to say? I think I just said it. PFF. Look, I, I was just speaking the truth. You know, we're, we're scientists, isn't that what we're supposed to do? Oh, what would you know about the truth? You thought Phantom Menace was not half bad. <laughs> I told you that in confidence. <laughs> Look, I know I screwed up, but it was only one interview. How much damage could it have caused? Would you like for me to read you the emails from donors asking why are they giving us money if physics is a dead end? I didn't say it was a dead end. I just said it, I was worried it might be. So if I just said I was worried you might not have a job next week, how would you feel? Lightheaded and glad you asked me to sit down. Uh, reconciling gravity and quantum mechanics? Supersymmetry. I have figured out the biggest problems in physics today. Wow, you solved them all? No, I just, I figured out that they're the biggest problems. <laughs> Is this your upset because the collider thing disproved your theories? Well, it's worse than that. It hasn't found anything in years, so we don't know if we're right, we don't know if we're wrong, we don't know where to go next. All I know is it looks like I tongue-kissed Avatar. <laughs> Come on, you guys are physicists. Okay, you're always gonna be physicists. And sure, sometimes the physics is hard, but isn't that what makes it boring? <laughs> hey. We're here. I sent you an email? You bet you did. <laughs> Hello. Shalom and aloha from the grave of Richard Feynman. Oh, it's coming back to me. <laughs> Please accept the following retraction. I know I said physics is dead, but it is the opposite of dead. If anything, it is undead, like a zombie. <laughs> Speaking of which, if Richard Feynman came back as a zombie, I would totally let him bite me. Any chance that's the end? I got bit by a squirrel once. <laughs> I had to get rabies shots. I cried so much. My mother said, don't be a baby. In conclusion, physics is great. Squirrels suck, and someday, I'm gonna put my mom in a cheap nursing home. <laughs> Yours truly, XOXO, Dr. Leonard Hofstadter. No, I, I can explain. I... P.S. <laughs> can you come pick us up? The Uber driver won't open the door because Sheldon is covered in blue vomit.